Okay, what's up, people? Mr. Mike 8308 back with another video on Hot Fire. See, like some people got confused. Uh, now one dude sent me a message saying that he does not see the towers, you know, the library, the uh, chanting, and uh, alchemy towers. They're not showing up on his drafting table. Okay, it could be a glitch or a bug with the add-on, or it could be that you already built the room on two houses, or may or three houses. Now, when you're doing this add-on, these these how the towers look on your, on the new houses. Why I'm saying it's best to build the towers together because you can jump from one tower to the other. This tower is neat because we got a treasure chest up here. You can come all the way up here and store your gear. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking it. Unless they come through your house. <laughs> but yeah, these are the towers I was telling you about. And you can jump from them. So yeah, those are your towers. And you can build them on any house. Just make sure you build the towers on one house. I'm, I'm going to put it like this. Best way to build these houses where you, make, where you get all the rooms... Because you don't want to go build three houses with um, with bedrooms because you're going to end up missing out on the other rooms. Okay, on the left room, it goes in this order. You got your enchantment tower. You got your bedroom and you got your garden room. Those all go on the left side of your house. You got nine different rooms, three houses. That means you can put three different rooms on three houses. That's, with them three houses, that's going to add up to them nine. You got nine different rooms you can build. If you go around and build the same rooms on all the damn houses, then you, some rooms you're not going to have because you can't go back and redo or destroy the house and rebuild. So be sure when you're doing this, make sure you, you get each room, different rooms, don't get all of the same fucking rooms or you will miss out on some rooms and there's no redo so when you build this house like this where you build all three houses with the same shit then some rooms you're not gonna have that's what I'm trying to get to and that's probably why for this guy his his towers weren't showing up on the drafting table so that's how you want to do that the best way to do this, I was, I was suggest doing this, I kind of messed up on this character. For your family home, I'm going to head to that home now. My family home is in Lakeview. Lakeview Manor is my family home. Why I like the area better, it's not constantly under attack. I mean, if it is, it's just by bandits and every now and then a dragon to come. And you can easily make your place more secure if you if you good with the alchemy table and know how to use the lake to restoration potion and know how to pop that bad boy and increase your your enchanting or is it um is it alchemy yeah and increasing your alchemy enchantments and your gear and that increasing them making them go up and go back and make some more potion pop that you know you pretty much can make very very powerful potions I, I don't do that I can show you guys some powerful potions I got so anyway this is my family house now I messed up on this house cause I, I built the kitchen the trophy room and the bedroom now if you build these rooms just like this in this order these porches right here when you walk up the stairs will connect Back here, you got your storage room. It got a porch just like this, and it will connect. This bedroom porch will connect to the storage room porch. The same goes for the armory. The armory room, the armory room, goes on the left side. If you build the armory room, if this, the armory room go right here. The armory room, it goes right here where the kitchen at, and it will connect to this tower, the storage room tower. So building bedroom, storage room, and armory room, that pretty much will connect your porch. So yeah, I, I, I messed up on this by building the kitchen and the trophy room. Now I say these, these little, you see how these rooms look? These are little small rooms. You know, you got your kitchen your trophy room and your greenhouse those are the small rooms I say put them on a house put kitchen trophy room greenhouse on one house those are small rooms 
other house, put your bedroom, your storage room, your armor room, put them on one house. Your third house, you want to put your alchemy tower, your chanting tower, and your library tower. You want to put that on your third and final house. And that way you would get each of these rooms instead of building the same fucking rooms on all three houses and you end up left out on other rooms. So, yeah. That is pretty much how you want to do that. Now, I'm going to say this guy go to a game that I have not did hardly any billing for and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, this is my red guard dude. So, I'm going to load up another say. Say that I ain't did too much billing on, and that might be my vampire character. Mm, yeah, it looks like it's going to be my vampire character. So, we're going to load him up. Now, if you play with a vampire character down in the basement of the cellar, you will build your coffin down there. If you're not playing with a vampire, then no coffin go down there. The coffin only shows up in the basement on the on the workbench, coffin the workbench. Is that what it's called? The workbench is to be inside your house, and now you make fun of your own workbench. Anyway, if you were to play as a vampire character, you would be able to build a coffin down there in the basement. And if your wife a vampire, she she don't sleep in the coffin that much, but every now and then she will. So yeah. Gonna show you guys with this character on how to build these rooms. You wanna build them in this order. You don't necessarily have to build them in this order, but when you do build them, make sure you don't build three kitchens on all three homes, otherwise you're gonna miss out on the other rooms that go in the kitchen slot of building the house. You know, your kitchen slot will be kitchen, armor room and library. Those all go on the right side of the house. What they call it, the east wing, north, you got east wing, north wing, west wing. You got it like that. So, yeah, I think I did it, I think I pretty much did it like this with this character, which is the way I want to go. I, I hate I messed it up on my main character. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is how I built this. This is the bedroom to, um, side. This is the bedroom. Then you go over here to the porch. This is the storage room porch. And then you go over here and this is the armor room porch. See, I told you. That's what I was saying when they connect. The porches connect when you build them like this. That's what I'm talking about. The porches connect when you build them like this. I mean, this is the best way to build them. To me, I say this is the best way to build them. It truly is. Then you come out on your porch and you got um, a bunch of comment. Or archery um practice thing, whatever you call them things. You can come out here and practice. Even um your wife and stuff will come out here and practice. That's if you marry somebody a fighter like Liddy or, or you know, somebody like that. If you marry them, they'll come out here and you'll see them practice with their crossbow. I mean not cross well, crossbow if they if you give them a crossbow. Bow if you give them a bow. So yeah. That is pretty much what I'm saying. When you when you want to build your houses, you want to build them in this order. So make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you see just fine. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So yeah, this is how you want to build it. Now this because I did a great job. I built these rooms so the porches connect. This I'm gonna make it to a family house. My main character, the family house I made up there in the woods. This is a nice family house too. It's in a nice area. You know, you got a lake and stuff. And then you go down here, you got a fish hatchery. And what the fish hatchery do is, it stocks up your, your little lake back here with fishes. It'd be a shitload of fish. You know fish is hard as hell to find. And they spawn back every um, 48 hours. So it is actually good. You just click here and put the fish you want in there. I already put them in there, so no need to put more fishes in there. Um, every 48 hours, this lake stocks back up with fishes that you put in, in the pit fish hatchery. The fishes will respond every 48 hours. So that is good. I like that. That's probably why I like this house. And the other house I like, the one by the two giant camps that got a grand meal so you can grind wheat out into flour. I like that too. So this is my other test. I got plenty of logs. Yeah, that's why I moved my family here. See? I moved my family here. Uh, right now I don't have time to play games with her. She might get mad, but it is what it is. Man, now you can interact with the kids, give them gifts and stuff like that. You can even give them daggers too. It's best that you give them daggers. 
That way, when your house come under attack, they can protect. They they can protect themselves. I actually saw my kids fight bandits. They was outside playing. Bandits showed up. When I spun that, spun to my house, my kids outside. Bandits showed up. The kids attacked and killed them. And bandits with one hit. I made them daggers to do that much daggers. Now you can't give the kids bows, swords. Battle axes, war axes, war hammers. You can't give them those kind. Only thing you can give them is daggers. And you can give them enchanted daggers. Like right now, I just gave my son a, the dragon bone dagger. Now, what he's going to do is go down in the cellar and he's going to practice. Now, I'm going to give my daughter the other dagger, the dragon bone dagger. These are the only ones you can give them is daggers. You can see the ebony dagger showing up, the elven dagger showing up, the elven dagger, or blizzard bl showing up, iron dagger, and so on. Skyforge dagger. So these are the only things you can get him are uh, these kind of daggers. So what I'm gonna do now is give my daughter the dragon bone dagger, even though I gave my son one, but I enchant these. The champions I put in this for my daughter is chance to paralyze the target for 22 seconds and undead up to level 30 flee for 45 seconds. That's pretty neat because this place come on attack a lot by the undead. Um, it's the time that showed up her skeletons was attacked and so she hit one of them with this, you know, it's all good. So get it to her. And give her some sweets, cause they love sweets. I don't have many sweets. I give her a sweet roll. And then you got that. So yeah. When you're doing this, it's pretty much how you want to do it. And they put the dagger on them. You'll see them equip the dagger on them. Well, it should be. She should have it. Oh, uh, shit, I don't see it. She got it, though. Somebody come up and attack. She will attack them. So, yeah, this is this house. This is how you want to build this with these three rooms. You want to, This is the ornamental room. And when I say the ornamental room, I'm going to go inside the house to show you exactly what I'm talking about, how these rooms look. Now... I know that this is the best way to do it. You know, it's good to have the porches connect like that. I think that's neat. I like that. I mean, to each his own. You guys probably don't give a damn. You probably won't. You probably, you know, you probably build an alchemy table. Um, okay, let's say the alchemy table going in the back. So you might build an alchemy t table. I mean, not table, the alchemy tower that goes in the back of the house. And you might build a bedroom going on the left. And you might build a kitchen to go on the right. I mean, it's it's. You don't necessarily have to build it like me, but this is probably the best way to do it. I, I kind of figured it out because the porches connect, and I like that. I, I truly like that. So they, they're actually giving you extra doors on your house, too. So you got doors to get, you got a door on this side to get out of, a door on this side to get out of, and a door back here in the bedroom to get out of. So, yeah. This is the bedroom, upstairs bedroom. So you mess it up. Okay, this can be the family house, right? You don't necessarily have to have that bedroom on the left side that goes on this side. The bedroom go on this side. Wait a minute. That's right. That's right. You can do it like. Oh, that's right. I forgot the bedroom is a connected port. So yeah, the bedroom go on this side. This is where your family go sleep in this room. They're not gonna sleep in upstairs in that one. Your guests go sleep sleep up there like Lydia, your your steward, um, your board. They'll sleep up there in that room. So yeah, this is the armor room. This is the armory. This is how it looks. And they got chests and stuff to store your armor and all that stuff in. That's what I did right here with this house. I stored all my armor and stuff in here. Well, stores in here. On this side, I think I stored my armor right now. I stored my armor somewhere. Then you can look at the different things. Now, this is a bad armor here. It's a new far more heavy armor. It's pretty neat. That's the dragon scale armor, dragon ball armor, along with dragon ball, battle axe, and great sword I put in there. Daedric armor, and over here, you got the dawn guard armor. Now, over here, you got different stuff mounted up on the wall. Over here, you got the Daedric shield hung over with the battle, with the Daedric great swords, yeah. So, yeah, this is the armor room. This is where you come and put your armor in. You don't necessarily have to put your armor in here. I mean, you can put swords in here if you want, but... Yeah, need you on. Then back here is the storage room. There you go, the sun. See, he got the dagger on, I gave him. So you can see it hanging down from the sides. You can't hardly see it because it's shirt. Wish they didn't do it like that, but it really is. 
your wife, it, it wouldn't be like that with your wife, you know, the dress be covering up the bag and you can't hardly see it. So yeah, this is the storage room. This is this where you want to come and store all your stuff. So that's why I say it's best to build those those two rooms, the armor room and the storage room, on the main house, your family home, because this is the home you're going to be coming in and out of and you want to store your gear with your family, you know. So that's what I pretty much been doing. I've been moving all my stuff from all my old homes and moving them to this to this new home with this guy. My other guy kind of fucked that up, and I, I I wanted to build it just like I built it with this guy. I wanted to build a bedroom, the storage room, and the armor room. I wanted to build all them three together, but I fucked it up on him. So I didn't know the porch was connected until I start until I start playing with my vampire character. I didn't know them porch was connected like that, and I thought that was neat. So yeah. Now that thing on my head, they, they come with the Dunbar add-on, and what this thing allows you to do, it allows you to, hold on you guys, I gotta put you on hold for a minute, or a phone call.
other people. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, uh, just trying to help my dad get his account set up. You know, he just got asked by so sister, so that's cool. I'll be able to play with him. You know, he's gonna be nervous. I got to teach him the ropes. So yeah, uh, it's a lot of grown people play these games. I mean, I got I got people on my friends list that's in fifties, sixties. You know. Uh, 40, you know, I got I got older people on my friend list, and most games they play is Call of Duty and Battlefield. That's how they play. You know, you don't, you don't catch them on. I mean, I got a few that play Skyrim, so there's nothing wrong with that. So that's pretty much what I was on the phone with. Right now, you got to set up an EA account so you can um, get news info from Battlefield 3, you know, blah, blah, skip, skip, whatever. So, yeah, this is pretty much how you want to set this up. And like I said, I messed up on my other character. Oh uh, yeah, I'll show y'all about this thing on my head, this headband. Okay, with this headband, it comes with the Dungar add-on. You have to find all these little pieces and go down in the secret blacksmith forest thing made by the doors. And you can pick three items to pick, I mean create the forge. And I picked that one because it allows you to activate and use two guardian stones instead of one. So that's why I picked this. So yeah, that's my vampire. This is my vampire character. So yeah, this is pretty much how you want to build it. Now I'm going to go to another house which I think I have not built yet with this character and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when I say build different towers. Like you don't want to go go and build the same towers on all through your homes. I don't know how many times I said it but I got to make this clear so people won't get mixed up. And you guys go out building three bedrooms, I mean go out building bedrooms on all three homes and you guys be left off on some stuff. So yeah. Alright you guys, uh, I'll put you on hold again.
Uh, okay, you guys, this is my time. Um, you guys just leave comments. I got to have my dad set up his um, account. So y'all take care. I'm out.